It's the third Sunday in May, and that means Decoration Day. So let's get to it. We're here in the little rural community of Whiteville, Arkansas. It's Decoration Day here at the cemetery. For those of you who live in the South, you know what Decoration Day is, a time to come and honor your ancestors by decorating the graves. This little cemetery, my parents' grave is right here behind me. Uh, my sister's is right behind that. My paternal grandparents are two rows over this way. My maternal grandparents are up that direction, about 50 feet. So as you can imagine, this place is my beginning 72 years ago. There's not many celebrities in my family, but uh, this one uncle, Ed Reed, if you've ever seen the movie Paper Moon with Ryan O'Neill, Tatum O'Neill, he was the sheriff in that movie and he got the part because he had a, a southern accent and he was a taxi driver for all the, uh, the movie stars when they were filming this out in Kansas. Also, he was very proud of the fact that he got a $50 check every month as a residual for that movie, Paper Moon. This is uh, what's left of a one-room schoolhouse at Whiteville, Arkansas. It's where both of my sisters started their school at. This house that we're coming up to now is the house where my folks lived when I was born 72 years ago. Now, naturally, it's been redone many times. Uh, it was just a shotgun house at that time where you could aim a shotgun through the front door and it'd go out the rear door. Had no indoor plumbing, but that's the the same structure. This rock house that we're coming up on now is where my great uncle Tom lived and later uh, my aunt Avis and her husband bought it and lived there. This road that we're on uh, 70 years ago was just a, a two-wheel path really. My dad would drive a team of horses and a wagon down this road every morning to go to the White River Bottoms where he sharecropped uh, cropland down there and then drive it back uh, late every afternoon right at sundown and he'd still have cows to milk when he got home. But he was a sharecropper and went down this road every day of his life for those early years. This is the part of the White River Bottom uh, that my dad used to sharecrop raising in this field, whether you can believe it, cotton and corn, but mostly cotton. This old road that uh, goes back to our home place, Dad would tell me in the fall when they were harvesting the corn and or cotton, he would take a wagon load home every evening uh, when he came home from work in the farm. And this hill that we're gonna go around is extremely steep, even here in a motorized vehicle, and he talked about how he would have to let the team of horses and mules stop about halfway up it, put the brakes on the wagon, and let the, that team of, uh, of horses rest and catch their breath before they could continue the rest of the way up this very steep hill. About five miles down that valley you're looking at is the farm that I grew up on. We're gonna drive by there in a few minutes. this next curve uh, you'll be able to start seeing the creek bottom farm that I was raised on. We're now in the little community of Mammoth, Missouri, which is in far southern Ozark County, Missouri, just a few miles north of the Arkansas line. I was raised on this farm here and this is what I consider home. 216 acre farm, I think, about 110 acres of it in bottomland and it begins right here. And I'm pleased to know that talking to some people around here, they still refer to this as the old crown over farm, even though it's been 50 years since uh, we lived here. My folks uh, sold this farm when I was away at college and, and semi-retired to a smaller farm. Dad cleared all this bottom land by hand with 
a tractor and we used dynamite to blow out the stumps and we actually raised corn and oats in here, one of the few row crop farms in this part of the country. Uh, now it looks like it's all in grass. I have no idea who owns it now, but it's still a very nice fertile creek bottom. As you can see, that's all that's left, the old uh, rock porch of the one-room schoolhouse that I went to school at for grades one through five. One of the two general stores that I went to as a kid just burned this uh, just a couple of weeks ago, picture in the paper. It was the uh, Robbins General Store. The steps are all that's left of the second general store here in Mammoth that Merle Anderson owned and ran. And we're coming up on Possum Walk Creek here. Our farm was at the junction of two major creeks. This is Possum Walk, the other one is Lick Creek. And uh, they would often get out of their banks and flood our bottom land every time you had a four or five inch rain. This Possum Walk Creek here is, is the creek just north of here is where the swimming hole that I learned to swim was in. It bordered our farm. This is the creek bottom farm that I grew up on. Uh, we moved here in 1956 and uh, Dad had built this old barn. It's now fallen in. He actually built it before we moved up here. We built cows in it. Uh, later on, we raised beef cattle, stored a lot of hay in it. And uh, right across the road is the house that I was raised in. My dad built that house himself completely. All the carpentry work. This is the first house where we had running water and modern plumbing. We moved into that house 1961, 62, something like that. I was about 10 years old. This is part of Lick Creek that bordered the uh, farm that I grew up on. They put in a new bridge. Water used to run over the top of it all the time, made it impassable anytime you got a, a decent rain. We're headed up the creek road uh, between Mammoth and Gainesville. Uh, as you can see, it's still a dirt road. But it's a heck of a lot nicer than it was 65 years ago. It's a little bit rocky in this part of the, uh, the country, except for the creek bottoms. This hay field on the left here is actually where I had my first paying job. The gentleman who owned this back then uh, put up a lot of hay, and he and my dad traded work, and he paid me a dollar a day to drive the tractor. I was probably 10 or 11 years old. While the, while the big boys loaded bales onto the trailer, and I could also rake hay here too. But I, I thought I was as rich as a Rockefeller after working a couple of days and had two bucks to my name, you know. I, it was great. People, when they say they've got rocky terrain, I'm always uh, reminded of what it's like here in Ozark County, and they, they don't even know what rocks are until they've been here. This is one of the more unique places of my childhood memories. It's on the creek road between Mammoth and Gainesville, Missouri. There's a spring that comes out of the side of the hill. My dad always said this was the cleanest, best tasting water he had ever drank. And we would always stop here on our way to Gainesville to get a drink of this cool water. Uh, legend has it that people with their horses uh, teams of horses pulling wagons into Gainesville would stop here and water their horses as well. But it's still running after all these years. Just comes out of the side of the, the hill up there. You see a little stream coming out of that hole. Now they poured concrete stucco around it. But it, the spring just comes out of the side of the hill. Never has gone dry.